Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend Chapter 11 How to Bring the Power in Your Word into Action In your every word there is the power germ that expands and projects itself in the direction your word indicates and ultimately develops into physical expression. For example, you wish to establish joy in your consciousness. Just repeat the word joy secretly, persistently and emphatically. The joy germ begins to expand and project itself until your whole being is filled with joy. This is not a mere fancy, but a truth. Once you experience this power, you will daily prove that these facts have not been fabricated to fit a theory, but the theory has been built up by careful observation of facts. Everyone knows that joy comes from within. Another may give you cause for joy, but no one can be joyous for you. Joy is a state of consciousness, and consciousness is purely, Troward says, mental. Mental faculties always work under something which stimulates them, and this stimulus may come either from without, through the external senses, or from within, by the consciousness of something not perceptible on the physical plane. The recognition of this interior source of stimulus enables you to bring into your consciousness any state you desire. Once a thing seems normal to you, it is as surely yours through the law of growth and attraction as it is yours to no addition after you have the conscious use of figures. This method of repeating the word makes the word in all its limitless meaning yours, because words are the embodiment of thoughts, and thought is creative, neither good nor bad, simply creative. This is the reason why faith builds up and fear destroys. Only believe and all things are possible unto you. It is faith that gives you dominion over every adverse circumstance or condition. It is your word of faith that sets you free, not faith in any specific thing or act, but simple faith in your best self in all ways. It is because of this ever-present creative power within the heart of the word that makes your health, your peace of mind, and your financial condition a reproduction of your most habitual thought. Try to believe and understand this, and you will find yourself master of every adverse circumstance or condition, a prince of power. End of chapter 11